What's up, everybody? Welcome back to creatingtracks.com. And today we're going to learn about Massive and just a little bit of basics that I want to cover. A lot of people have been asking me how this stuff works and they get really confused by this whole layout over here. So I'm going to make it a little simpler for you today. So let's get right to it. Uh, so Massive comes with three oscillators, which is oscillator one, oscillator two, and oscillator three. And you can turn them on or off with this little blue button right here. So what we're going to do is we'll just work with our first oscillator because all these three are exactly the same. So we're going to mess with the first oscillator and you can apply the same rules to our second and to our third oscillator. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And by default, this is what it sounds like. So what this slider over here is doing is that it's deciding if our first oscillator is going through filter one or filter two. So we have three oscillators, two filters, and two effects, and one EQ, and all of that is going to the master. And to make it even simpler, I made a very, very professional chart, which is really high quality and high end stuff. So check it out. I know you're very impressed, and this is really good stuff. So we have three oscillators, filter one, filter two and two effects and an EQ. That's the same thing happening over here. We have uh, three oscillators, two filters, and two effects and an EQ. So this fader right here, this slider, or these sliders that say F1 and F2 everywhere, these sliders decide if the sound is going to filter one or filter two. And these uh, sliders over here next to the filter are the volumes of each of these filters. So if this is all the way down at zero, then you're not going to hear anything that's happening in our first filter. And by default, our second filter is at zero. So let's go ahead and turn this up. And this slider over here is it's like a crossfade between the filter one and filter two. So if it's all the way down, then you're not going to hear anything that's happening in filter one. And if it's all the way up, you're not going to hear anything happening in filter two. So we're going to bring this in the middle where you're going to hear both of them equally. And then these are two of our effects that you can select from this drop down menu. And uh, here is the EQ that has uh, that is off by default and you can turn it on over here. And that goes to the master. So three oscillators going through two filters and then two effects and an EQ. And we can go ahead and mess with our waveforms over here. So every oscillator comes with uh, with this drop down menu that you can use to select your own waveforms. So if I pick something like, and that's what that sounds like, and you can change it from here too. And each one of these oscillators, uh, they all do the same thing. And they all come with three knobs. And uh, this amp over here is the volume and the intensity of the wavetable. And then this is the wavetable position. And then um, to manipulate the sound, there are three parameters, which is the wavetable, the intensity, and then this dropdown right here with five different options. So let's, by, so by default, our math, rough math three sounds like this. <laughs> And if I, it's just a raw sound and there's nothing in our filters. So if I mess with the, or I can do Ben plus. Or I can do bend minus plus. So it might sound like it's doing the same thing, but if you listen closely, they are uh, making different sounds and bend minus. So you can keep messing around with this and I'm gonna use uh, the first one, square saw, and we're gonna turn this all the way up and let's just do the standard spectrum. And send this through filter one and on our filter one, we're going to do, here's all our options. So I'm going to select uh, low pass four and bring the resonance down. And uh, we're going to mess with the cutoff and let's bring the mix one all the way up. So we're only hearing oscillator one going through filter one, which is going through our effects uh, directly to the master. So by default, uh, this is our waveform. And the low pass four lets you do this.
So if I bring this down all the way, you're not going to hear anything. And you can see that I'm hitting the notes over here and nothing's happening. But if I bring the mix back up over here, then you're going to start hearing it. So if I bring this down to filter two and select something like a uh, scream, then And if I bring this slider in the middle, then you're going to hear both these filters working together. All right, cool. So uh, that's good enough for our filters right now. And let's work on our uh, effects. So if I go to my oscillator 2 and I select something else, like multiplex or even... And I take this to filter 1 and take this to filter 2, then you're going to hear them separately. Okay, cool. So in our effects one, we can choose a lot of different things or even in our effects too. But what I like to do is I like to pick my reverb or all these other effects over here because some of these uh, effects one are not available in our second one, which are these tubes. And they're not in our second effects chain. So let's go ahead and bring up something like classic tube and see what it does. That sounds pretty good. And then we can pick a reverb over here and check it out. And we can also go ahead and pick a, a turn on our EQ and then do all these different things. So this is our low shelf, the bass, and this is the high end, the treble. And this lets you select these mid frequencies, which you can see, but you got to hear it by, uh, by ear. And the boost decides how much you want to uh, raise it or reduce it, uh, this frequency. So... Alright, so that's uh, what Massive is mostly about, and it's three oscillators going through filter 1 and 2, and then going to these two effects and then in EQ. So if you want, you can turn off these filters, and it'll sound like that, and it's just a raw sound. And now it's just oscillator 2, and oscillator going through filter 1, oscillator 1 going to filter 2, or yeah. And you can make them both go to filter 1, so there's no point of filter 2, so you can turn this all the way up and turn this off. So feel free to mess around with all these parameters, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week.